Hi everyone, so final video review for this week is for Earth 832 by uh, L Fergus. Um, if you want to check out my review, I have just posted that, so if you're on YouTube, there's a link in the description below, and if you're on Facebook or on my blog, then there is a link within the post. Um, as I said, this is the video review for Earth 832 by L Fergus. So, justice is served. <laughs> this um, is one of the angels, the Keita's Fallen Angels books, and um, Keita and the Angels, they're kind of back in this sequel, which is four separate short stories about serving justice to people who have wronged them and commit horrible, despicable things and horrid acts against humanity. So each story is different. Um, but it's a sequel to Bike Chick, which I read a little while back, and it follows, um, each story follows one of Keita's angels um, as they embark on missions or find their purpose or join join the mission. Um, and so it focus on, focuses on these different angels, using different motives and exploring emotions, feelings, actions, um, and that each story just dives into one of the angels' backstories and provides them sort of a unique mission or um, just a, more insight into how they became who they became. So um, I love the way they're also sort of interconnected without being connected. Um, so they have a running theme. The angels obviously appear in different ones and and different things happen, but it's not a running story, it's, it's four short stories. Um, so, as I say, it is a sequel to um, Bike Chick, and I highly recommend reading that first, because if you don't, I don't think you'll fully understand who these angels are, and who Keita is, and how it all comes together, and what it all stands for. But, um, only if you want a fuller picture, um, because you can enjoy these as standalone stories, they do make sense, everything's explained and everything's there for you to understand who the character is and what the story is. So the focus is on strong women with these stories, they, they serve justice to truly horrible people um, who have caused pain, harm and suffering, but um, I have to say, for a bit of a trigger warning, there are some quite dark scenes in this and um, they may cause a bit of distress because Elle Fergus has, has had to give some detail for you to understand the point of the mission for the angels so um, you might find some of those a little bit uncomfortable if you are easily triggered by dark and quite horrid acts um, but I like that dark nature because it, it fuels the premise of Keita's angels serving justice so they seek out wrongdoing and they punish them in quite fitting ways so it's it's really sort of action adventure um, going on in these stories but I really enjoyed joining the angels on their missions again um, and finding out more about the new characters the legacy characters um, of this series and I'm sure there will be more from the Fallen Angel Keita series so um, hopefully you'll be interested and go and check it out um, as I say it is action adventure sort of superhero-y um, but it does deal with dark themes so um, make sure you have read the blurb before you dive into that if you need to know more about what might be themes throughout the book um, but it's absolutely great. I really did enjoy catching up with the angels and their four separate stories. Um, each one delivered something different and I hope you're going to enjoy them too. So I'll pop a link in the description so you can go and grab a copy of Earth 832 by L Fergus, which I hope you will. If you've read Earth 832, I'd love to hear your thoughts. So please comment below. And if you haven't read it yet, but it's on you to be read list, you're planning to read it or you're now intrigued and thinking, I'd really like to read that. Again, comment below because it's great to hear what you're reading. And if you do read it, I hope you enjoy it. Bye.